it's Mrs Jones from the Wolverhampton Music Service and in this video today we're going to be incorporating some of the first video techniques of pizzicato in the context of one of the grade 5 ABRSM pieces. The piece I'm going to be going through with you today in this example is called Sweet Georgia Brown. It's piece number six in the Suzuki Base School book volume three and if you haven't already had a look at the video on the different types of pizzicato techniques it might be worth going back to have a quick look at that now pressing pause here and then starting again from this point. In this piece it's a jazz swing genre style of music so you'll see in the example I play to you, I'm going to use my index finger to curve around the string in towards the fingerboard to get more of a jazz sustained pizzicato. And then when we get to the quaver passage in bars 33 and 34, it says play even eighth notes. That's where you're going to play uh, perhaps more of the staccato away from the string pizzicato technique to play a steady unswung spider 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 or jogging 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 quaver passage okay so let's get started so we're going to play through having listened to sweet georgia brown this is piece number six in the Suzuki Bass School book, volume three. And for this swing jazz style piece, we're going to use the pizzicato technique to curve around the string in towards the fingerboard. I'm going to use my index finger for this. And then by the time we get to bars 33 and 34, where it says to play even eighth notes, I'm going to switch to the more staccato away from the string style of pizzicato for these two bars. After those two bars I'm going to go back into my curving around the string sustained jazz style of pizzicato. When you get to the end of the piece of music there is a double stopped harmonic. What you need to do is to make sure that you're using your forefinger across the two notes and when you make first contact with that sound you use your thumb to give a nice strong firm strung lifting the left hand fingers away straight after to hopefully get that uh, harmonic to ring out it takes a little bit of practice that too as well so if you don't get it the first time or first two times that's a good part to just uh, stop and really practice some many times over actually okay so to pitch your very first note which is our high f natural we want to try and get our thumb into the nook of the neck or the heel of the neck of the bass so we can anchor our first finger and then move our fourth finger up to the correct pitch for our high F.
remember enjoy this piece as well it's a nice chance to really really apply some of those techniques of changing the style of pizzicato to try and get the best sound out of your double bass if you like the video you can subscribe to the music service youtube channel click on the bell icon and then you can receive further updates on the videos as we get them to you and remember enjoy your playing Thank you.